Uh, I know one person in this room really wants to go to planes. Somebody logically wants to go to books. But again, if you don't like my face, there's people that don't like my face, which is fair. I look like I'm seven years old. Um, you can you can find. I'm talking seven to ten percent off of MSRP from a dealership discount. Point blank and period. I am so incredibly proud to say Delivered, my car negotiation company, is one of the fastest growing car negotiation companies in the world right now. And so many people have questions like how we started, where do we get here, who else works here? So I wanted to answer everything in the idea of transparency. So I did a live stream and I let chat decide what questions we would answer. And I did this with my business partner there, Emil. So let's get into it. All right, so project your voice. I will project my voice. You know I have no problem with that shit. All right, does he negotiate too? Good question. No, he does not negotiate at all. Um, and we can tell you that he would pay full sticker on everything and everything he's ever paid for. Is it better for my husband to negotiate for me? Yes, unfortunately, because we live in an awful world where everyone's a sexist pig at the dealerships. You guys heard that verse? Did you ever hear that? Hopefully you did. <laughs> Here's the thing. Literally, literally 70% all financial decisions are made by women in a country and guys still acting like it's 1937. Mind blown. That's, that's brother. All right, so here we go. Let's go with, uh, I've got a question here that, I, that when you sent over, I, I saw, I really wanted to know. Where do you see your business in the next 10 years? I freaking love people who ask questions like, what do you see in 10 years? Bro, did you see ChatGPT disrupting the, the, the entire economy three years ago? It's impossible to predict 10 years, but I'd love to hear your answer. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, Delivered, guys, my, my number one goal with Delivered when I started the company uh, was to reinvent the way we buy a car. I always believe everything in life is negotiable. You guys are on the stream a few days ago. You saw me negotiate Juliana's tint. Uh, we negotiated $100 off her tint, was, which was pretty fun. Uh, but I find that probably the next step, uh, I could say as early as Q4. You think Q4? Yeah. Uh, we'll probably move into RVs uh, and start negotiating RVs. After that, uh, we'd have a decision to make if we go into boats or go into planes. Uh, I know one person in this room really wants to go to planes. Somebody, Somebody logically wants to go to books. Uh, but that would be kind of the negotiate, making delivered as a negotiation brand. As everything in life deserves a fair price, everybody deserves to be educated. Um, and that would be kind of the idea behind moving if we're expanding, right? Uh, we'll also probably be in Canada by then. We should bring in Canada by then. Um, and when we're talking about somebody said talking about boats, guys, I understand that I'm not an expert in RVs. I'm not an expert in boats. I don't ever plan to be a full expert. I think the idea behind it, if we expanded, we would hire on a team. We have a really good infrastructure. Like we've proven that we can build a business around negotiated cars, right? We have a proven business model that makes sense. That business model should be able to translate into RVs, should be able to translate into boats. And I would not be the forefront leader. We would hire absolutely somebody on that is an expert in that exactly. Do the customers have to pay even if you don't have find the car they want? Uh, so uh, we have never not found a deal, I don't think. We've always found a deal. Now, what, what I'll say is that we're all of our work is front loaded. We are not a brokerage, meaning that I don't have a, I have, do I have dealerships I call? I talk to that I have good relationships with that are willing to give me deals right out of the gate because I do so much business, yes. Do I get paid a dime from them? Absolutely not, and I refuse money. I've had multiple ones of these that are in this chat right now that have offered me money to give them deals. I'm not willing to do that. Uh, that's not how we do business here. But all of that being said, our business model is wrapped around the customer focus. Uh, so when it comes down to uh, giving money for us, we take money all up front, $1,000 up front. I think we're the only service that charges a full fee up front, uh, and with that, we once we start your deal so there's like a two week waiting period right now which we hope to cut down even more we cut it down from a month and a half to two weeks due to a few really yes. cool uh automations that were great but once we start your deal there's no refunds it was crazy we have two people that have used on prime deals i've used the rav4 prime really happy with a great deal i had oh, definitely awesome. white glove experience and then uh driver said i bought four cars in my life he used deliver made it the easiest fastest buying experience ever felt supported and reassured every step of the way. Definitely calmed me down a long way. I love it. Which is the idea yes. of the service. So, oh my God, you know, is... any, you know, with any service guys, I don't care if you, who you're hiring. And again, there's a lot of great options out there. Um, you should never hire anybody to save money. You should hire people to save time, energy, and anxiety. If you're hiring anybody to save money, you're making a mistake. There's so much free information out there on the internet. Like again, I put out a lot of it. I think it's enough, 
But again, if you don't like my face, there's people that don't like my face, which is fair. I look like I'm seven years old. Um, you can you can find you can find so many people that give great information. You don't need to hire anybody. You can do this on your own. We don't have any special magic wand or secret sauce to save you thousands of dollars more. We're just I'm good at what I do. But that being said, anybody can negotiate a good deal. Uh, anytime I talk about discounts, so if I say this is really important, when I say seven to ten percent off MSRP, I never put this on a record. We'll put this in a video. I'm never talking about rebates. I am never talking about manufacturer money. I am talking seven to 10% off of MSRP from a dealership discount, point blank and period. Any rebates, get added on that. If a dealership, let's just say um, some random Kia dealership adds $4,000 of add-ons, I'm not counting that into the discount. That's just extra. I don't believe dealerships should charge that, so I don't do that. So like I just did a BMW deal, an X5 deal, we got 10% off MSRP. $70,000 MSRP, we get $7,000 off plus rebates. I wanna make sure I'm abundantly clear. Again, don't hire me to save money, you don't need to. You get the same discount on your own. But that being said, when I'm talking about discounts, I wanna make sure I'm crystal clear. Seven to 10% off before rebates, before manufacture money, before anything along those lines. Uh, but again, you could do that on your own. Uh, how are customers finding you? So customers find us via TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, our conversion rate uh, as of today is probably, what do you consider a conversion? A consult or a purchase? Consult, okay, consult. Yeah. So for people doing con, or no, I would say just paid service. Let's just say paid okay. service. I would say about 50% 50, 50 TikTok. Right now we have a 50% TikTok, uh, 30 to 40% YouTube, 10% uh, Instagram, 10% um, repeat referral. Is that about right? Yeah, that sounds about right. About, about right. And we, um, yeah, yeah, and we haven't. You know, most people buy car every twenty four to thirty six months, so their likelihood of having repeat customers in twenty twenty six is really high. When you're negotiating a deal and you know you're not going to get what you're looking for, do you just hang up or move on? My my goal is always seven to ten percent off, guys. Like, and I will tell you, if a dealership gives me ten percent off, I stop the negotiation normally. I don't go farther than that because that's the goal. But if a dealership gives me, let's just say 5% off, or they know they're gonna give me 5% off, I'll, I'll continue the negotiation until I get to that point, and then use that as leverage somewhere else. And I tell dealerships up front, if you're willing to give me 10%, then I will buy the car today. Otherwise, give me your best offer, and I will see if I can beat it. Like, I'm very transparent with that. And, and I'm very true, people who have done business with me before can say, but hey, if you give me 10% off, I don't drop your offer, because that's fair for my client, it's fair for you, it's a win-win both sides, it makes it easy. Um, and we do have certain, certain dealerships that are willing to do that, Sometimes. Do you verify deals price and closing after client purchase? I verify every deal that goes to deliver. Uh, I will say if a deal does, uh, just we've not, Chris is at the point that if a deal does have an eight to 10% discount, uh, it is, uh, I do give her authorization to thumbs up it uh, because she's done, she's been here for four or nine days. She's killed it. Um, and I have confidence to say she knows what a good deal is. But I will say Chris started off with zero sale experience. Or mm -hmm. not sale experience, car experience. She had no clue. Uh, funny enough, Chris was a client. Chris actually yeah. hired us. On her deal was still doing. Yeah, her deal was still being done. Uh, somebody said name one manufacturer that has 10% markup from invoice to MSRP, zero. There's not a single manufacturer in the world that has markup from 10% uh, to invoice. But what they do have, and what a lot of people, a lot of people forget to mention in the industry, is there's a thing called triple net. So dealerships don't just make money from invoice to MSRP. That's a fallacy. They make money, uh, what they call holdback, which is on there, which you can see on most invoices. You just look for HB, it's there. Uh, there's marketing money, there's gonna be incentive money, and that's where that 10, seven to 10% range comes in. If it's a Kia, closer to 7%. If it's a BMW, closer to 10%. So I have a favor to ask. In part two, we talk about the competition of Delivered and who we're actually going against and who else is doing this service. And to put it lightly, my brother is unhinged and I don't think we should let him out of the house. Hey, the dude has a full grown beard. Don't call yourself a kid. But they think that a national market isn't big enough for everybody, which appalls me. High quality merch, it will not be low quality merch. So we're not gonna just do it. I didn't steal anything because that will steal your business. That's the only thing I'm worried about stealing. Mm -hmm. So just understand that he looks at everything as a business perspective and he does not know these people personally like I do. So uh, please give him some grace. See you guys in part two.